Now to an exclusive interview with Brianna Taylor's boyfriend. Kenneth Walker was with Taylor when she was killed by Louisville police in March. He says they were in bed watching a movie when police raided their home. In an emotional interview, he walked CBS This Morning's Gail King through the surreal night that changed his life. I don't think I ever heard so many gunshots, like, all at the same time. I've never been to war, but I assume that's what war probably sounds like. One officer fired six shots, Officer Mattingly. Officer Cosgrove fired 16 shots. Officer Hankinson fired 10 shots. That is a lot of firepower. I still try to make sense of it to this day. When all the gunfire stopped, she was, like, bleeding and stuff, and I was holding her. You know, then that's when I called my mom. You called your mom first? Yeah, I told her that somebody just kicked in the door and shot Brianna, and she's, she's freaking out at this point, but... She told me to call 911, so I did. 911, Operator Harris, where is your emergency? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Did somebody kick in the door inside my girlfriend? I didn't know it was the police. Not at all. And I even proceeded to tell 911 that, you know, somebody just kicked in the door and shot my girlfriend. You know, I didn't. If I knew who it was, I would have said the police. Oh, I wouldn't have been calling the police. We were scared. No, we didn't know who it was. Walk. <laughs> we didn't even know who it was. And I was in the back of the car. When we finally left the scene, we pulled over in like a random parking lot on Manslick, which is the street, like at the bottom of the hill down the street from Brianna's apartment. And another uh, officer in an unmarked car and he wasn't in uniform and stuff and he came to my window. Hey partner, what's your name? Dennis Walker, Matt, uh, there was a little bit of miscommunication. I wanted to talk to you before they left. And then when I got to the police headquarters or whatever it was, they took the handcuffs off me and everything. When were you finally told that Brianna didn't make it? I never really got told, like directly. I saw it on the news. The That's next. how you heard Brianna Taylor died on the news? Pretty much. You can see the entire interview on our website, cbsnewyork.com.